Welcome back. It's Entrepreneurship Tuesday right here on uh, Why in the Morning at Y254 channel. My name is Michelle Ashira. Follow us across all our social media platform. That is at Y254 channel. At Michelle Ashira is where you can equally uh, reach out to me. So head on to our Facebook page at Y254 channel. We have a question for you. And during this time of COVID-19, we are looking uh, in ways where we can, we actually trying to maximize different ways where we can actually get uh, extra cash. So one of the ways is actually the laundry business. So we're asking you, how would you turn laundry service into a successful business? How would you turn laundry service into a successful business? Head on to our Facebook page. That is Y254 channel. And the hashtag to use is hashtag entrepreneurship Tuesday on our Twitter handle, Y254 channel. So in studio right now, we are about to discuss matters pertaining hair. Ladies with their beautiful hair, we always uh, take time to look good. So our topic today is all about... Uh, hairdressing and what it takes to just uh, create such an amazing look and we'll be talking to a hairstylist by the name uh, Stephen Mwangi Chege uh, who is a hairstylist by profession and also the winner of Afro Hair Awards and he has been into this particular business for since 2015 approximately five good years thank you very much for creating time Steve thank you all right so how have you been I'm very good okay yeah all right it's uh, we, we were actually waiting for you yeah. Thank you. ladies in the house we are all waiting for you yeah for you to take us through <laughs> take us through different types of hairstyles okay. especially uh during this hard economical times and uh, maybe something we can actually fix on uh by ourselves right yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's start off by finding out uh, who is steve okay steve Steve, Steve Mwangi Chege uh, is a hairstylist. Let me walk by the way. <laughs> yes, I'm born again. Hairstylist. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Steve, ukiwa mdogo, what did you want to be? Dream yako ilikuwa gani? Okay. Uh, ni kama kila, dream ya kila mtoto inakuanga anasoma kwe daktari. So, <laughs> mindi soma ni kwe daktari na pirot. <laughs> Uh, but kaenda nikamaliza mpaka class 7 ilikuwa daktari na pilot but uh, kufikia class 8 nika change sasa nitakuwa polisi okay but uh, <laughs> babangu alikuwa ni encourage sana nikuwa polisi but kuingia form 1 dream ka switch okay kakuwa sasa nafanya hair dressing yeah. So form one, we can decide now it's hairdresser. Yeah. How did your parents take uh, the father to Steve Sasami Amua that he will at a funny hairdressing? Nani yeah. Shadambao uh, for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Alienda to an extent that Nikimaliza form four mm -hmm. Ali Ali Intafutia ni niende NYS kwanza. Mm -hmm. But uh iyo haikuwa haikuwa passion yangu but lazima ninge muanyesha though kutoka form one sikuwa ni mwambia ni takuja kufanya hair dressing. Mm -hmm. uh, so akisema well ataka ukue polisi. Mm -hmm. Uh nikwa tu na agree. Mm -hmm. uh, so na after kumaliza Form 4, mm -hmm. akaniambia ku nataka uende NYS. So, hiyo ni bridge poa sana, mm -hmm. enye utaingia kwa soja. So, like, nika, nika mwambia pana, huyo hacha niende nifanye uh, hairdressing. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> ilikuwa hard decision kwa ke kumake, but uh, banya sasa nilimwambia the importance ya kuenda kufanya hii course. Aka kubali tu, though hakuwa na trust, 100%. Uh, but banya nilienda nikaanza, uh, nika mwanyesha what I'm doing, nilikuwa very serious by the way. So, after that, Mr. Sando aliona, kube, kube hii course inaeza kupeleka mbaji. Ah, thank yeah. you dad for allowing Steve to take, <laughs> to, <laughs> take, to, take to do what he loves. So, uh, ukenda shule, sino, what, yeah. did you, what did you study and uh, ulikuwa shule wapi? Uh, Jordan College mm -hmm. of Technology, Thika. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I studied diploma in cosmetology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the, after sasa umesoma, umeshamaliza mm -hmm. then what ukapata ulipata kazi immediately ama ulienda no. uh, certain attachments to just uh, uh special to specialize to specialize <laughs> yeah so looking for sp yeah specialization would you specialize in a, in hairstyle hair hairstyle yeah yeah, yeah uh, when you nilimaliza mm -hmm. uh, nilienda attachment mm -hmm. attachment yangu ilikuwa one month mm -hmm. one month nikaenda nikaambiwa ah uh, wewe kazi yako ni pale kwa sink utakuwa mm -hmm. unaosha watu unapanga line ah uh, so mimi nilikuwa kazi yangu ilikuwa kuensure maji ni moto kwa sink kuna shampoo kuna conditioner mm -hmm. so nikiosha mtu unampanga hapo na oshea wale stylist uh, wengine mm -hmm. so uh, sasa nilienda for one month like sikuripwa sasa hiyo kwa attachment hauripwi hata kitu hata ukiosha mtu huripwi so like nikaona hii kazi i think i chose the long career mm -hmm. Like once I quit, I can't. But the angel introduced to a Kaziamikono. Kujaza rori mchanga. Okay. <laughs> so, I learned how to work. I can. I can do this work for one month. I can. I can even pay for my own rent. My zimbili. Alafu sasa nikasema narudi kwa industry sasa. So uh, nikabahatika sana nikapata salon yenye haikuwa na mtu wa dredi na haikuwa na mtu wa kusonga. So kwenda pale nikafanywa interview interview ya braiding uh, sikupita vile but dread nilichapa vizuri sana. So uh, Mungu akasaidia sana hapo kulikuwa na clients so nikaweza nikaweza ku build mm -hmm. trust na client mm -hmm. juu nikimtengeneza dread niko na style ya kumweka okay. client akiingia anamwambia niko na style mm -hmm. mpya by the way so nili build trust ya client kutoka alright uh, whatever from what you have said uh, umesema like there was a time the while you in the journey ya ku follow dream yako mm -hmm. kunile time ili drift away yeah. na because of the challenges ulikuwa unapitia pale of just when you were starting off in your in your career yeah. unaweza mbaje mtu mwenye anaangalia interview na pingine uh, you guys will just get to see his work so like the person will just be looking at kazi yako mm -hmm. anaona the glam side of it na ana feel sasa just looking at the glam side yeah? mm -hmm. and i feel like this is the actual career that actually i want because he or she is just looking at the beauty side yeah. of it unaweza advice mtu kama huyo aje okay advice yangu ni mm -hmm. lazima lazima you start from somewhere mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so bora tu usi give up mm -hmm. juu uko na hii passion ya kenye unataka na ndio ina ku drive mm -hmm. so hata kama kuna ile side utaenda chini mm -hmm. bado utafocus mm -hmm uta focus na kenye unataka. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you what has been the journey like uh, when it comes to building your own brand yeah? mm -hmm. from uh, 2015 to right now. Your journey imekuaje for you to build your brand na uonekane like a professional hairstylist. Okay. Uh, sana sana ni research. Mm -hmm. Una unataka kujua trading hairstyle ni gani? juu client anaboekanga uh, mm -hmm. leo umekuja ume braid mm -hmm. uh, kesho unamwambia acha tu braid tu leo the next unamwambia acha tu braid so uh, mimi kenye nafanyanga nata, natakanga more research mm -hmm. natafuta trading hairstyles uh, na hiyo imenisaidia sana like client akiingia kwa salon na mwambia kuna trading hairstyle nitakuweka hivi next akikuja unamwambia kuna new so like brand yangu imeenda iki grow like mm -hmm. ile time nimetengeneza client kitu ameenda amenileta mtu mwingine mm -hmm. like nime grow hivyo yani mm, okay. yeah. so hiyo ni njia moja ya wewe ku build your clientele yeah. yeah. 
Okay, what's uh, what, what's another thing about uh, Steve Hair Arts? Ambayo anafanya ambayo like in a bring back clients to you. Okay, Mimi. Uh, what's unique about you? Ma, uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. Na isasema ni client akiingia kwa salon kwanza mm -hmm. na consult kwanza. Mm -hmm. uh, like unataka nywele yako ikayaje. Alafu uh, na analyze uh, nywele yake like mm -hmm. Scalp, unangalia, <laughs> texture anywele. <laughs> so, okay. uh, kuna, kuna client, mm -hmm. uh, hanjui mambo na treatment. Okay. So, uki advise client uh, kuhusu treatment, mm -hmm. uh, unampea tips za anywele. Mm -hmm. So, like, uyo client mm -hmm. ataenda kisemanga, unona ile salon, mm -hmm. ukienda, uh, lazima ku advise kuhusu anywele. So, mm -hmm. like, Akienda ambie mtu, atuwe mtu atakuja kwa hiyo salon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's talk about people who have natural hairs. Uh -huh. It's very, most people complain. They so, uh, it's it's very hard to maintain natural hair, natural hair compared to a relaxed hair. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the ways, nimbinu gani mtu aneza to just uh, uh, maintain and uh, keep your natural hair? Okay, natural hair. <laughs> Ni very easy to maintain na ni very hard to maintain. Mm -hmm. So, hizo zote zidaperekana hivi. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, natural hair, uh, haitaji mabomobu. Mm -hmm. Kabisa. Mbora tu, ukue na the right products. Mm -hmm. Zenye zina bring moisture kwa nyuele, mm -hmm. na yenye haikaushi nyuele. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, kuna, uh, natural hair inaitaji Kuna specific gel ya natural hair. Kuna specific uh, moisturizing treatment kwa mm -hmm. natural hair. Mm -hmm. Na shampoo bar. Mm -hmm. Yenye haina much sulfate. Right? So, uh, mm, siji ni taiputa je. But, so, uh, kuna the... It's simple. There's a way to eh, just make it simple. Okay, product zenye zina oh. fit natural hair. Okay, so it's in a very easy yeah. to maintain natural hair. Okay, on the right advice. You just seek yeah. advice on yeah. how to actually do it. Yeah. So, like, how do you? Because in your line of business, you tend to stand a lot, or probably just move around a lot. You you're dealing with that. Uh, you, you know, in your business, you're dealing with humans, right? Yeah. So how do you unakopajene your exhaustion? Because probably physical exhaustion appear mental exhaustion at the same time. Okay. <laughs> so buni kazi <laughs> e, sababu client anaweza kuja na expect mna mukonverse mm -hmm. muongea na pengine hiyo siku wewe uja muka uki feel like uh, like mnataka unataka kuongea unataka kufanya tu kazi. Okay. How kwa do you salon, do that in a professional way? <laughs> <laughs> kwa salon <laughs> lazima 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 ukue ukue like flexible. Mhm. Mm Juu kuna huyu client mm -hmm. asubuhi ako alikuwa amekasirika mm -hmm. alafu afiki kwa hiyo salon mm -hmm. like wajua watu wengi wanakujanga salon ku relax absolutely yes yeah so lazima u client akiingia mm -hmm. venye tu ameingia kwa mlango hivi una learn huyu mm -hmm. client ni mtu wa kuongea mm -hmm. ama ni mtu wa kunyamaza mm -hmm. so uh, uki, uki, ukisha analyze ujue huyu nikimwongelesha mm -hmm. ataenda hivi mm -hmm. Nisipo mwongelesha, ako sawa. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so mtaeza mta mta ku, kuenda direction moja. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Tena, client akikuja kama mekasirika, we enda chini. Okay. Eh. Alright. So, before we continue, uh, we, you, we have our model. Yeah. And just a sample of uh, the type of work you do. Yeah. And then, uh, Uliza, this model of us, maybe she can come. Rose, uh, where is the wedding, Nini? The wedding gown, you know, okay. like the, I, I think this hairstyle works way best with okay. the gown. Ni furiwa jana, but uh, <laughs> Rose, you can come, and then, and then uh, uh, Steve will just tell us about this particular set of the of the hair. Now, the type of you look at the different types of head and scalps that yeah. in a match with different hairstyles, so maybe yeah. you can mention. Okay. She's very, she looks very beautiful and this hairstyle, where's the gown, Rose? <laughs> so so okay. probably we can take us to this. 
So, hiyo mm -hmm. hairstyle na ni hairstyle moja haijai toka kwa market. Mm -hmm. uh, ni double bun mm -hmm. like uh, na ni protective hairstyle okay. for natural hair. Oh really? Like mm -hmm. hujakaza nywele, hujakaza nywele huko kwa side. Then the most of the hair is covered by the extension. Oh, oh So, yes. mm -hmm. nywele haiko exposed. Mm -hmm. Sana, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, kwa hiyo, kwa hiyo nyele ni matumia very simple hair. Mm -hmm. Ni matumia fluffy kinky, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sujika wa, ningeo yeah, nyele hiyo nyele meni different, yeah. yeah. The texture is different. Uh, so, uh, very simple nini, hair extension, fluffy kinky. Then, ndo ime nisaidia kuatain that look. Na, hiyo ni bridal look, by the way. Alright. Yeah. Okay, okay, so this is, uh, how long does it stay on? Okay, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Rose, you look very good. Without very kujikuna. <laughs> struggles, <laughs> <laughs> the struggles that you go through. Thank you very much, Rose. So let's look at uh, what, what motivates you. Yeah. What motivates you, what makes you wake up every single morning just to, to go and just uh, look for different uh, hairstyles and uh, execute them? What motivates you? Okay. Still. Kitu yenye na yeza sema, mm -hmm. napenda kazi yangu sana, sana, sana. Mm -hmm. uh, na napenda nywele. So, uh, mm -hmm. nata, napenda sana kupray around with the hair. Uh, to put uh, my creativity to action. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, during this time of nini COVID-19, right? Kuna, a lot has been going on in terms of the economy or, or, or economy, right? Things have not been going well. Definitely. So, how unaishua je biashara yako in a stay afloat na mna meet up to the guidelines za serikali? Okay. Uh, kwanza, uh, sanitation. Kwanza, uh, mi na, inshu, na, na making sure kwa salon mm -hmm. ni kuna sanitizer mm -hmm. na every client mm -hmm. Lazima, lazima aingie kwa salon na barako wa mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, siyezi, siyezi kumake kama huna, huna nini, huna, huna mask. Mm -hmm. That is, ukiingia kwa salon tu hivi, mm -hmm. unasanitaiziwa, mm -hmm. then, unakumeva mask. Okay. Yeah. So, before you continue further, uh, the sum of uh, Steve at uh, work, Images. Yeah. So this is on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. We na kwa jina gani? Steve Hair Arts. Okay, Steve Hair Arts. So yeah. tell us about this uh, uh, hairstyle. Okay, this hairstyle. Mm -hmm. uh, ilikuwa ina tulienda uh, event na ito Afro Hair Awards. Mm -hmm. So in ilitengeneza ku demonstrate Afro mm -hmm. Afro Hair Awards mm -hmm. na ilikuwa fifth anniversary. Mm -hmm. So like. Hapa juu nimetengeneza siji kama haiko haiko clear sana hizo mm -hmm. hizo five kwenye nimeweka hizi pin nimeweka pin tano mm -hmm. I have done five pin ups mm -hmm. to demonstrate that anniversary okay. then huku nyuma five years away right? huku nyuma mm -hmm. ini afro oh. right mm -hmm. so ku demonstrate that is afro afro mm -hmm. hair awards all right yeah. now this look near okay We've moved quite fast. But the look in your image, it's good for... Natural hair. Natural hair. Okay. Yeah. So let's look at this one also. The other one, ni he. Yenye, yenye nimetengeneza kama model mwenye alikuwa on stage. Mm -hmm. Lakini he nimetengeneza triple bands. Mm -hmm. Triple bands, mm -hmm. unaziona. Mm -hmm. Benye, kuna, kuna hii bani ya chini. Benye tu nimegawanya. Kuna mm -hmm. hii bani ya, pi, ya, mo, ya kwanza. Mm -hmm ya katikati mm -hmm. na ya juu. Right. So huyo ni model mwenye ako na round face. Round oh. face I wish ingekuwa <laughs> one the round round face. Uh -huh. So uh, round face sana sana kichwa hapa juu mhm mm ai kwangi flat. Okay. Hata ni round face. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay, I so. So, hiyo <laughs> hair fit vizuri sana kwa round face. Mtoko na round face, okay. Yeah. A bride or look. Oh, nice. Yeah. Alright, so, maybe we can check out another look. Okay, still the, the same, but different designs, yeah? Different designs. So, this works best for people with round face, that's what yeah. you say. Yeah, yeah. 
I see. Okay, what about this one? Still the same? No. Okay. This is not the same. Mm -hmm. I am in Mohawk. Okay. Mohawk, uh, like, I use if it got out of face. <laughs> Why are you hating though? Why can't someone who has a round face put on a mohawk hairstyle? Okay. Itako utaku me exaggerate the look of that person. Like niki kweka mohawk. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, in nyuele by the way. Oh, extension. No, 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 no. That, that's the hair. Yeah, niliko hapa nyuma ni nyuele plain hair. Oh, wide. Yes. Okay. So, hii unatumia, unatumia holding, holding spray. Mm -hmm. Una roll tu nyuele, alafu una pin. Una roll, una pin. Okay. Natural so, hair? Yeah. Okay. Okay, what about this one? Another one, na? Hii ni ya, ni ya maids. Maids. Okay. Is a maid look. Yeah? The bridal maids, yes? Yeah. All right. Okay, so... From all the from the, all the images that you've looked at, and yeah. uh, I've noticed that most of them are for 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 weddings. Like yeah. they are yeah. suited for Wedding. mostly in most yeah. cases that yeah. is in weddings. So what are, what else? What other hairstyles do do you do? Okay, most the mm -hmm. uh, bridal bridal look. Okay. Most. That's that's what you've specialized in. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at. Um, the difference so the what are the some of the challenges that you're facing right now okay as a hairstylist during this time of uh, economical economic uh, crisis okay work from mm -hmm. work from hakuna mm -hmm. like uh kitambo nilikuwa natengeneza like mm -hmm. 10 clients mm -hmm. but now mm -hmm. Uh, ju pia ya masaya kafio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tengeneza like three. I thought tulongezo time this uh, things might be, <laughs> might be different. Tulongezo wa but <laughs> ila time ya kuwa Ted client uh -huh. na huwezi 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 rush. Uh, that's true. Like client anakuja kupanyua braids mm -hmm. na mgonga gonga zingine katikati <laughs> do kumalize haraka. So lazima ukwe na uh -huh. time, time zuri na client. Uh -huh. uh, Sai hakuna ile hiyo work flow. Unatengeneza client watatu. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. but kitambo mm -hmm. ilikuwa unatengeneza like mm -hmm. 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so uh looking at your journey from 2015 to right now. Yeah. Would you say like you made the right decision and you don't regret it? Yeah. I don't regret. Like, kabisa, kabisa. Nilifanya the right choice. Okay, so what, is, yeah. what do you see uh, Steve at in probably a couple of few years down the line? I don't want to mention the years because <laughs> I'm so sure you have your own plan and vision. So tell me. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm planning not even 10 years, mm -hmm. but like three years to come. Mm -hmm. Na plan to expand my salon. Salon yangu di kidogo, si, si kubwa sana. So ina has access to like five people mm -hmm. so especially during this time yeah yeah mm -hmm. so i'm um, like in three years to come mm -hmm. i'm planning to expand that salon mm -hmm. is a rentisha station so like nikuena five workers not five clients mm -hmm. five attendees mm -hmm. to the client yeah okay. uh, that's nice and uh, uh keep up to the good work and yeah. uh, we're looking forward to having you another day and just uh, uh, see the progress from uh, where we are today so Thank how can you. people find you on social media okay uh, facebook steven hair arts mm -hmm. uh, twitter steve mm -hmm. hair arts mm -hmm. uh, instagram mm -hmm. steve hair arts mm -hmm. yeah okay steve hair yeah. arts that's how you find him across all social media platforms so guys uh that's all we had on matters pertaining hairstyling i'm so sure you've learned a couple of a uh, couple of few things i didn't know about round face and everything <laughs> and particular hairstyles that we should put on but it's okay steve now you know and uh, guys make sure you follow us across all our social media platform that is at y254 channel at michelle ashira is where you can find me so make sure you stay tuned i'll be coming up to sample more of your comments on our facebook page we have a question and it's all about
about uh, maximizing different ways just to get extra extra cash especially during these hard times especially during these economical hard times so yeah matters pertaining how can we uh, maximize and get m uh, m uh, monetize yes got it monetize the laundry business service so head on to our facebook page and that is at y254 channel we'll be right back right now we're going to enjoy good music